Now your storm track seven forecast on KWWL. We've had areas of fog, we have that rain, and we could even hear some thunderstorms tracking through the area overnight tonight. But mostly the fog uh, while out there is getting a tiny bit better across the area, but still seeing some rain as well. A wet roads will stay on the wet side across the area. This is uh, 380 going to 20 uh, in Waterloo area. Visibility is about three quarters of a mile in Waterloo, about a quarter of a mile in Dubuque. It's improved to two and a half miles in Iowa City, but we're going to continue to see the potential for some fog as well as some rain tracking through. Rain is likely and maybe even a few thunderstorms. Rain changes to snow as temperatures fall tomorrow and Monday could see some snow showers as well. All of them also continuing to stay fairly breezy with a strong low pressure system continuing to track through the area. Notice all this moisture tracking in. This is all rain with those thunderstorms potential. And then on the northern and western side, that's when we're going to get the snow showers, but it is a little more broken up, at least as it tracks through our area. But mostly it's just rain and a lot of low-level moisture in the form of that fog. We have seen rainfall totals anywhere from a few hundreds to over a half an inch in some places, almost a half an inch in Dubuque, and we'll see more tracking through. And the heavier stuff is moving through this evening and into the overnight as temperatures continue to go up across the state. On the back side, we'll see kind of a break, uh, maybe some drizzle, not quite as heavy rain, still going to be fairly gray for Sunday, and then could see that changing over to snow, especially by the evening hours as temperatures do start to fall, and that could make for some slippery conditions as well. Notice there's not a lot of snow falling in our area, but depending on how it falls, especially in the north with several rounds possible, could see a couple of inches there, mostly lighter amounts, maybe half an inch farther to the south. Temperatures now 30s in the north to around 50 in Washington, and these numbers will continue to go up. They've been going up all day long, really, continuing and holding fairly steady. Now bumping up to about 40. We're going to continue to work our way up during the evening hours, go 50 by maybe 1 o'clock tomorrow morning and continue till maybe 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. And then that cool front starts to track in and temperatures will be falling almost all day Sunday. But even by 4 o'clock, temperatures in the afternoon are still in the 30s and 40s. And we will see we get drop back to the freezing mark by midnight on Monday. Uh, Sunday night into Monday morning. Easterly winds right now 10 to 20 miles per hour will stay on the breezy side. So you could see some gusts up to 30 miles per hour through the day tomorrow. Winds do switch direction becoming more southwest and then working on the westerly direction as temperatures do start to fall on the back side of that system. So rising temperatures tonight with rain, fog, maybe some thunderstorms and breezy conditions. Still breezy tomorrow, really breezy through Tuesday before the system finally gets out of here. So we'll have rain showers changing to snow showers tomorrow as temperatures will be falling. We do have uh, temperatures in the 30s more likely for Monday and Tuesday. Snow showers possible on Monday, cloudy skies on Tuesday, although it should be fairly dry for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. We do have another system that might track through most likely Thursday night, but could see some rain showers Thursday afternoon with snow showers Friday morning.